OK, this is our second part of our demo. Uh, if you recall, previously we had created an Azure function uh, in Visual Studio Code. Now we're going to use Visual Studio Code to deploy it into Azure. So let's switch over to our, uh, our code. Now, if you recall, there's two files. There's the actual code. Then there's this bindings function. There's also uh, requirements.txt. All these have been already filled out for us. So all we really need to do is actually just hit deploy. In the, in the Azure tools, there is a section for functions, and I'm just going to hit deploy. In here, I'm going to select which subscription I'm going to deploy to. And then it allows me to actually pick a pre-existing function or I'm going to create a new one. The very first one allows me to do the consumption plan, but the second one here, it allows me to pick maybe a different kind of a plan, a premium or reuse some uh, resources that I that I would have previously allocated. But I'm going to start from scratch, so I'm just going to start with this one and I'm going to give it a unique name. So let's uh, let's give it QWER and then a bunch of integers. That's going to be pretty unique. That's what I'm deploying. I pick my runtime stack, uh, Python 3.9, uh, the data center. So I wanted to go to US East. And uh, that's it. That's all I really need to tell uh, code what I need, where I want it to be deployed. And at this point, it's going to go about uh, packaging that up. Now, uh, over the years, the packaging technologies have changed a lot, and Visual Studio is always uh, one of the reasons I like it is because it's always keeping up with the with the the latest recommended way of doing that, right? So let's say in six months there's a different recommended way for whatever reason. Um, that's probably going to be what the extensions are doing for you. So I'm picking here. Now what's going to happen here behind the the scenes is that the function app is actually going to get packaged into a zip file, uh, and that zip file is going to get deployed into a storage account. Uh, then uh, uh, the the functions runtime environment, uh, the app, the the service in Azure is actually going to reach into that storage account, pull the zip file, and, and extract everything into the right place. Um, we can actually see the progress if we switch over to the output window. We can see as before, it like zip uh, content was created, and here's the Azure functions pulling that zip file, and it's uh, it's going to actually uh, do, uh, build all of this dynamically. So there's a tool it's using called Oryx, I don't know how you pronounce that, but I think it's O-R-Y-X, so Oryx. Um, and um, the last item here is that it succeeded, and that's it. That's all you have to do. If you ever make any changes and you want to deploy again, simply uh, select um, deploy again and pick the, the previous function that we just deployed, and it will just override everything there. So that's it.